what is up guys I hope you are doing well today and this video will be really quick going over some build ideas for the rune fencer now I know a lot of you people that have been playing the game for the past two months you know you're like man I don't want to see newbie videos well I'm sorry but there's new people still coming to this game you got to think of everybody that bought the game for Christmas everybody that's gonna get the game this year in 2023 when the game goes on sale gets cheaper like there can be people playing this game for a long time so this is just kind of a basic video going over build order, not really build order, but just a build that you can run from the beginning of the game till chapter four when you get started on the end game. Obviously a post game or end game build is probably going to look different than this because you're going to have access to more stuff. You're going to be a higher level, blah, blah, blah. So you know how that goes. But the Rune Fencer, in case any of you didn't know, Rune Fencer Valkyrie, you know, because they're the same class, they're just male and female. Rune Fencer is my favorite class in the game, and also I think, I, I already made a video on this, but I do think it's the best class in the game. And I'm not going to go into detail why I think that, you're going to have to go watch that video, but I will say, the reason, one reason is, it's able to do so darn much. It's able to do so many things, it can fill a lot of roles, and it's just so good. So, the weapon I prefer, I do like a spear. Especially scorpion because we all know how strong poison is and Poison's great uh, Scorpion's amazing. It's not as good as it was in the PSP version, but it's still really strong throughout you can get this Pretty much in chapter 2 I believe mid end of chapter 2 you can have this bad boy and you can run it and it's gonna be great And then you know you just put your best armor on you know I don't ring of a clarity I wouldn't say this is probably the best but I ha I've had ring issues I don't have enough rings for all my dudes and this probably isn't optimal, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but I do like the extra attack, defense, and agility it gives, so whatever. You know, I'm sure there's better choices there. But what we're going to talk about are the spells and the skills. So, obviously putting heal on him right away is ideal. Right? You get a rune fencer right out the gate, get heal on him, get a you know single target spell that matches the element. Once you can get boon of swiftness, throw that on. And this might sound kind of controversial, but I love the instill spells because, well, they instill, you know, they're, they're great and they're auto. So this will basically make him more resistant to ice and make him do more damage with ice. So when this procs, you know, my ice blast is going to hurt a lot more, which is why I put this on. And Rune Fencer, believe it or not, is one of the few classes so far that you can see right here next to Fairy. There might, there's obviously some others, but that can only use this spell. So, you know, I want to make use of it. So, it's on him. And I find this to be very good. If there, if he can't attack nothing, he can boon. If he can't attack, he can ice blast at range or get in melee with a spear. And since we don't like clerics around here, if we need to heal, I heal for the same amount as a cleric. So, we just throw a heal out. You know, we got, we got all that. So, then... For the skills, I throw HP on just because you can, and there's really no other option unless, like, I have a bow. Like, if I were to have, a, you know, an offhand and a main hand and I had a bow or something, then we'd put, like, crossbow or bow on. But, you know, obviously your main H... I mean, you only get Constitution 1. I think you eventually get Constitution 2 when you get in the 40s, but, you know, it's not that great. But the main things here are, once you could conserve MP... Which you'll get around, I think it's the late 20s in level, you'll get Conserve MP. Basically, next spell costs zero, so that's a free boon, free heal, or a free ice blast for me, which is super huge. And then, obviously, you get access to Meditate. It's only Meditate 2, but hey, it's still Meditate, which is going to allow you to spam finishers. It's going to allow you to always be casting a spell. And that's why it's so good just to have, like, healing on him, because I could literally just make this guy into a cleric. Now, I know he doesn't have Mother's Blessing, but... We don't we don't rely on auto skills too much because they're not a guarantee. You know, I've gone I've gone three or four turns without certain auto skills proccing, so I guess I guess I just have bad luck on the character, huh? And then we got our finishers, which are all tied to spear. So basically we can do what we need to do. Now the only downside to a rune fencer is they're not the tankiest unit. They kinda are a little they're like average. They're not squishy squishy, but They'll get hit, you know, they, they'll they they'll get hit, and it might be pretty hard sometimes. So that's the only downside. I mean, you could give them a shield, I guess, but I wouldn't waste a shield on them. I, I wouldn't. And my denim, for anybody that's wondering, has been a rune fencer since the beginning. I know swords are kind of meh, but I really like 
the finisher uh, vile wound because you know it's just really nice with the toxic the toxic the poison the chance to poison guys we love poison why wouldn't you why i don't know why people hating on swords man when you got a poison finisher you know and then obviously we got our bow which we're getting up there still it's uh three and three we're gonna be four and four soon once we get to level 40 but yeah my denim is built pretty much the same way except he's lightning and as you can see he has lightning spells and then he does not have constitution because he has a bow so that's those are two different little rune fencers and i mean i don't know if you'd want to go like hammer on a rune fencer i guess you could but i, I you know you either got sword spear or bow crossbow i mean i don't know maybe, maybe i find a lot of other units like work better with hammer but you could always go hammer but those are my two builds that's what i think would be well kind of going through the chapters having this kind of setup got me through it I ran two rune fencers like all the time because denim was one of them. So the birds are, are getting very chirpy. They're not they're not very angry. They're, they're kind of happy, but they're getting a little loud happy. And, you know, sometimes it can be hard to hear me when I got angry, loud, happy, chirping birds in the background. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know down below if you got any questions or comments. How do you build the rune fencer? Do you uh, do you like the rune fencer? Do you use them? What, what builds do you use? I'd be very curious to hear. I love sharing information and learning from each other. Maybe you guys have a build that is really awesome. I might want to try it out, you know? So, again, thank you all for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, later, guys. Peace.